Hi, Scorpio. It's me. It's Julia with Scorpio Squad. How you doing? <laughs> Hope everything is great for you today. A wonderful week up ahead for everyone. If you have already subscribed, I thank you so much for being part of my channel, um, our channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like my style and you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Okay? You may also want to turn your notification bell to all. So that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video, which is every single day. Thank you for all your love and support, Scorpio. Um, the only thing I will say, if you've been thinking about getting a live tarot card reading, this would be a good time to do it. You just say abracadabra, and you get a 15-minute reading at $1 a minute. That's for my U.S. subscribers or watchers or followers or Okay, it's an offer that um, I put out there for people to try out the new service. I'm sure you're going to like it very much. Um, so, abracadabra is the keyword, and you get a 15-minute reading at $1 a minute, okay? It's a special offer. All right, Scorpio, today is September the 6th. Everything else that you need in regards to me is down below. A shout-out to Robert, Kevin, and Mahira for using the live service. Oh, and I do give you a shout-out the next day. Okay. All right, Scorpio. What's going on, Scorpio? Some of you are in this really heavy energy. Or maybe it's your person. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. For September 6th, soulmate. I feel somebody... There is somebody that you are supposed to come together with. It's been written in the stars, Scorpio. And you need to fix the situation. Somebody does. Because somebody's just going, what the heck did I just do to my person? There is love. You love them, they love you. But I don't know. Yeah, you see. The Divine Masculine. Here you are, Scorpio. This person really loves you. Was you know, is somebody who wanted to help you here. Somebody who lives their life in the flow. Somebody who could have given you stability here. You guys could have had a beautiful future together. It's an unfinished symphony. You're not talking to them, but you're watching them. And you you're you know, you keep thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about how you want to make it right when you already know. You already have a deeper knowing that it's time for you to leave wherever you're at and go towards your person. This is what you manifested. This is what you wished for. And I feel like I'm talking to my divine masculines here. This is faded for you. I feel you're thinking right now, how are you going to fix this? How are you going to fix this? And why did you do what you did to your divine feminine? The choice is yours. But the advice is to take a leap of faith and send a message to somebody who loves you just as much as you love them. And fix the situation so that the both of you can be look at these cards you can be incredibly incredibly happy if you have been sitting Scorpio in this funk or this dark energy you better get yourself out of it because there's something toxic around you maybe it's fear maybe it's drinking maybe it's other people I don't know but you need to get yourself out of the darkness now and come into the light okay you just did Messages, please, for Scorpio for September the 6th. That, I, you know, no, no, I don't know. I'm feeling a very heavy energy for Scorpio, for Scorpio. Anything else for Scorpio? Spirit wants you to know if you're worried about your finances, Scorpio, don't worry about it. You will be blessed. They want you to just relax. You're really stressing about your finances, your home life, whatever. You know 
You already know. You already have the answers you need. You have to believe that there's a higher power involved here. And once you finally figure it out, you'll understand everything. Okay? It's time to go. It's time to go so you can start this new life of yours. I don't know. The messages are very clear. All right, let's go to soulmate cards now. Um, keep in mind these soulmate cards could be a message from your person or things that you have to acknowledge in order to or heal to come together with your soulmate. Okay, Scorpio? This is a new deck that I'm putting into the reading today. All right, let's see. For September 6th, for Scorpio and their soulmate. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Anything else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? Okay. I got it. Anything else for Scorpio? All right. Let's see what all these say. All right, Scorpio. There we go. Try to look at things from a feeling level. What is your heart saying? If you look at life purely through logic, you will always get a point to where it seems to make no sense. True wisdom and understanding reside in the heart. So maybe some of you have feelings from, for somebody, but you're not looking at it from an emotional level. You're looking at it at a logical uh, level. And Spirit's trying to tell you, listen, in regards to your soulmate, start thinking with your heart. Start feeling with your heart. No matter what life, whatever, oh my God, no matter what changes life brings, nothing will change my love for you. You give my life purpose because of you. I feel safe. I am forever grateful. Thank you. So you may be saying this to your person or your person is saying this to you. So there's unconditional love between you and your person. My love is like an ocean forever longing for your shore. You are an eternal ocean of love. I close my eyes at night, and my heart is filled with rose quartz light. This is what your person's trying to tell you. Or you're telling your person. You guys are communicating right now. You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. What you consider imperfection is an illusion. Even in darkness, you shine eternally bright. A loving thought triggers a loving response. Your love is felt and appreciated and an angel surrounds you. A sacred union is born. The union of twin souls within a threefold flame. So it looks like something is going to happen where the two of you will come back together again. Surrender all that no longer serves you. Let all that remains buried in your heart come to the surface to be healed. Let there be space for new energies to enter. A new beginning transforms darkness to light. Well, we were seeing that, right? That transformation that I was telling you about. Now they're telling it to you here. It's something that needs to be done so you can come into union with your person. Close your eyes and feel your spiritual connection to everything on this planet. Every person, animal, tree, and flower. Feel the ocean, the wind, the sky, all in perfect harmony, moved by one eternal flow of love. So some of you may be in a dark space right now and Spirit's telling you, you need to get reconnected. And this is the last one. Your smile illuminates my soul. It makes me feel whole. There is no part of me that your love cannot fill. From the first moment we met, I am forever grateful and I count my blessings each day. Beloved Jewel. That's another message from your person. Or you're giving that message to your person. Wow. Okay, so there was some... They were talking through me for you, Scorpio. Okay, let's go to um, the postcards of Spirit. Let's see what Spirit wants to guide in. So what they want to tell you for today. For Scorpio, please. It's too many cards, Spirit. Just give me one... No, too many cards. <laughs> We got a lot to say to you, Scorpio, today. What's going on? 
For Scorpio, please. One card. What would you like to tell Scorpio today? I love you, Scorpio. For Scorpio. How many cards are here? Two. I'll take the one that's face up. Okay. But for some reason, they're telling me to take this one. I don't know why. They're telling me to take the green one. I've got to listen to what they're saying. All right. Spirit, I'll take the green one. Two fell out for you. I was going to take the top one, but the Spirit said no. Take the green one. Okay. I'll take the green one. Here you go. Dear you, now is one of those times you're being asked to add some distance, take a step back, and do nothing but observe. Don't worry about how long it will take to regroup. Just know it's temporary and actually an opportunity to take a breath. Slow down and look at how far you've come. Decisions are for the highest good and are made when we have clarity, which comes from being open to information from both the intellect and the intuition. When you step into the role of the observer, it's as if you turn on a switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision making process. In this way, you can approach things from a more neutral and non-judgmental place. We must have something going on um, with the planets or the moons or something because I'm fumbling today, all day today. We, I'm, and I apologize, <laughs> but that's what happens. Okay, when we're in those kind of energies. We know you'll make the right choice. Trust us when we say now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back now and you will be glad you did. Love you. Okay, so they're asking you to take a step back. Maybe really um, meditate, contemplate, connect with spirit so you can get your answers. Moon manifestation for Scorpio. What do we have for today? September the 6th. For Scorpio. Scorpio, make sure to check out Heart Passion Tarot. Um, I have put up all 12 zodiac signs. Your reading is there for the month of September as well. If you haven't checked it out already. And if you're cross watching for somebody, you can watch their video as well. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so Spirit wants you to shine, okay? They really do. I know you've had a lot of burdens on you, Scorpio. I know. But you need to come out of whatever that funk is and get back into the light, you know, like in that field of sunflowers here, and shine again, okay? There's no reason to be in that kind of energy right now. They want you to go deeper, and I think that has to do with your emotions or your feelings for somebody, okay? To really get in touch with oneself and how you truly feel, okay? For a lot of you, I feel fear is a factor that you may be holding back out of fear. I feel I'm talking to a Scorpio that's been betrayed over and over and over and over again. So, go deeper. You need to heal that if you're going to come together with your person. Believe in your good luck, okay? Things are about to change if you make the right decision, Scorpio, okay? And if you get yourself, if you're one of those Scorpios that's sitting in a dark space, you got to get yourself out. So this can come into your life. Okay, there's some kind of realizations that you have to actually come come to, right? And then when you do, Spirit is saying you need to go for it. And don't hold back. Take action towards what your heart truly wants. Reveal what needs to be seen. I feel you are hiding your emotions. I feel you're not communicating with your person or with a lot of people. You're very quiet, very much to yourself. A lot of you need to speak up. A lot of you need to read a book. A lot of, I mean, to write a book. You need to um, share your knowledge with the world, your experiences with the world. Maybe you're just sitting and suffering in silence, and Spirit is saying you need to speak up. You need to tell how you truly feel right now.
forgive. So there is somebody who you need to forgive so that you can move on, so you can release whatever this is that's, that's keeping you in this pain that you're feeling. Okay? They want you to leave the past behind. That's why we call it the past. They want you to leave the past behind so you can move into this beautiful new future that Spirit has prepared for you, Scorpio. Alright, let's go to the Lightworker Oracle and let's see what that message is for you today. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Scorpio, what do we have for today for Scorpio? Oh, that came out quick. Never, um... See? Grounding. You need to get grounded. Number 15, which is a 6. Let's see what this is about. I, I've never gotten this card before, Scorpio. Really, I never have. Number 15, let's see what they want to tell you today. Okay, grounding. You long for the free and open worlds of spirit and light, yet you also yearn to experience the healing power and divine joy of sacred sound and living color. You are meant to bring joy, beauty, and comfort to this world to share the spiritual light. To do so, you need grounding. Your dreams want you just as much as you want them. Grounding helps you bring your dreams to life in your world for the benefit of many. When a reminder comes from higher guidance to ground oneself, it is a loving encouragement, never a judgment. Grounding is a spiritual version of remembering to call your mother. It is a chance to check in with what is happening in your physical life and make sure you are giving appropriate time and energy to what really matters to your heart. It is a chance to appreciate the beauty of the natural world and the love in your relationships. It is a chance to make sure your spiritual work is being applied in your life in ways that feel good to you. It is a chance to speak your prayers rather than only think them. You might even dance them or create a colorful flower offering for your altar or sing them from your heart. We are guided to ground ourselves when there has been an increase of light to the head. This can occur through meditation, prayer, or conscious connection with spirit. You might be on fire with ideas and inspiration but struggling to express them all practically. You may even feel congested or tense in parts of your body where the energy needs some help to flow. This is a sign to move in a way that feels freeing, strengthening, and expressive, and to add healthy relaxation and exercise into your lifestyle to allow for healing to occur. When the light can move through your entire body, bringing vitality and helping you translate your ideas into your reality. To do so, take care of your body. Be sure to get plenty of hydration and rest. Spend time in nature. Use salt baths to cleanse your energy. Eat foods that strengthen and nourish you. Ground yourself by releasing emotional content. If you're either swinging from one extreme to another or retreating to your head to analyze rather than to express. You can ground emotional energy by writing in a journal or by creating art, poetry, music, or dance to express your feelings. You can also ground emotional energy through physical exercise or being in nature. Practice soothing and calming yourself so that you can return yourself to a contented, trusting, and peaceful state of being. This can only be done by talking to yourself in a gentle, loving, encouraging voice, reassuring yourself that everything is working out according to a higher plan and that you are very loved. Guiding meditations, relaxations that help you feel connected, peaceful, and loved will also be helpful. Choose what works for you. You'll know when you are grounded because you will feel very connected to your body, aware of your emotions, and clear, energized, and present with a sense of well-being. 
If you are not feeling that way, this oracle says that you can. Your energy and well-being can improve, and you can feel good about who you are and how you choose to live your life. Grounding will help you and help the universe to help you too. Wow. Okay, so that kind of tied in your reading and the energy that I was picking up, Scorpio. So that was beautiful advice from Spirit. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this reading. Sending you much love and many blessings, Scorpio. And I will see you again tomorrow. You take good care of yourself and be safe out there for me. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Love and kisses.